Hi again, everyone. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to title this video. I guess I'll make up a name for it once I'm done. But my subject in this is the whole asking for a donation. You know, when people do that, you hear radio stations. Well, I've heard radio stations uh, using using uh, asking people for money like a telethon. And, you know, since I've come to know God as my source and my provider, he has come through amazingly in my own life. And since he has come in that way of his provision for me, I don't see any reason in asking people for money. Now, when you go to do that, first of all, it shows that God is not your source. The second is that you you don't realize that God knows your needs because you don't know God as your source and you don't think he sees your needs or you're completely oblivious of that, then you're going to be relying on man. Since you have never trusted God to come through in your own life, then you're going to be walking in fear. You're going to trust in your own abilities in order to, for things to make things happen and uh, you know it it's just the world does that you know we've seen that with you know Jerry Lewis telethons where he would ask you know for a certain amount of money you know people would call in and you know give their support and you know that's all fine and good for the world but we as Christians, we need to show the world exactly something that is different. You know, when Jesus multiplied the food, you know, the bread and the fish, he, he looked up to heaven. He didn't look down to earth. He didn't look to other people to provide for his needs. You know, when the disciples asked, where are we to get bread to feed all these people? And they were thinking how they can make this happen in their own strength. And Jesus said, have the people sit down. And then he prayed to God, which is the first thing that we need to do. We need to seek God. We don't need to go to people and, you know, say, um, can you fill out this donation card for a certain amount of money and, you know, send it in? And Or, you know, you don't need to, you know, just asking you know, fellow brothers and sisters for money. You don't need to do that. We have a father that will take care of all our needs. It just takes looking to him. It takes walking in faith, which is a lot of people don't want to do. We live in a drive-through society to where we do not tolerate waiting. You know, when we go through a McDonald's, you know, drive-through, we expect to get our, you know, meals like that, you know. But when it comes to God, he wants to stretch us out. He wants to stretch our faith. You know, he wants us to get rid of our own strength and our ability to provide and look solely to him. But a lot of believers don't do that. They're impatient. They want things to happen now. They, they don't take time. I'm not saying all believers do this, but there's a good many that do, that they don't take time to ask God, you know, you know, when, Lord, or, you know, Lord, I'm just going to seek you through this time and just enjoy you. And, you know, the re reason why this whole, you know, asking for a donation from, you know, believers, whether it's a Christian radio station or, you know, sending out donation cards, the reason that I find a problem with it is because I seen God come through in my own life. I didn't go to different people and say, hey, can you help me out with this or can you do this? You know what I did? I asked people to say, hey, can you pray for me? You know, I didn't really state the issue. I mean, I could have. Maybe sometimes I did. But I didn't look to them to provide for my needs. I looked to the Lord. I just asked people to pray for me, which I think that's what people need to do. Hey, can you stand with me? And, you know, pray about this because this is currently a huge weight that's on my shoulders and it's something that I really want to give to God. So I just find it really frustrating when I was 
listening to that Christian radio station and they were using it as a telephone and people were calling in for their support. Oh, we have an hour and we need, you know, a certain amount of people to give this much, you know, and, you know, think of it this way. It's, it's like going to a birthday party, right? And the, the person that is receiving the gifts, let's say you give them a, a gift, you know, a gift certificate of what, $20, right? So you give it to them and they say, they open it up and you, you're like all happy, you know, you, you're giving this gift to them and you want them to be happy. So they open it up and they notice on there that it's only $20. So they give it back to you and say, oh, I'm sorry, the, the lowest amount I'll receive is $30. How would you react to that? And that's exactly what I see with a lot of ministries. Before they will send you a DVD or anything of their teaching, which is, you know, God's teaching. It's something that a revelation God has given them. But before you can receive that revelation, then you have to pay for it, you know? And so... You have to pay a certain amount of money in order to get their DVD or whatever. What about somebody that can't afford it? You know? And, you know, that's why I appreciate the ministry of Keith Green so much. He had the conviction that he would put his records in the book Christian bookstores for free for people to take. For people that couldn't afford it. And a lot of artists couldn't do that because they lack trust in God. They... They said that was a hard road. One one Christian artist said that, that that was a hard thing for them to do. Well, it's going to be a hard thing if you've never seen God as your source, as your provider. If you've spent all your time just depending on yourself and your own strength to get by, you're not going to depend on God. And, you know, God has come through in my own life. I have walked in faith for certain things, and God has come through. And I think as Christians, sometimes we forget what God can do. Or we've never seen what God can do. We have never tested Him. And like I said, I'm not saying test Him as in what Scripture says that we shouldn't do. You don't put the Lord God to, 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 to the test. But God said, test me in this when it became, you know, when it, regarding uh, tithing. He said, test me in this, said the Lord Almighty, that I won't pour out such a huge blessing on you that you will not have room enough for it. You know, God wants us to walk in faith. He wants us to rely on Him. Because what's going to happen when our source of income is gone? We have to look to Him. You know, we have to see Him as the source. So, you know, th this video is basically about just how I think it's bull for people asking for donations. Before you do that, see God as your source. See God as your provider. You know, read in scripture how God has come through. You need people like me and those who walked in faith to encourage you, to let you know that God will come through. He sees your needs. He knows you better than you know yourself. If he ha knows the number of our, the hairs that are on our heads, how is it that we think that he doesn't know our needs? So... You know, I want to give an example, and you've probably heard it if you've watched my videos, where I was trusting God for an apartment. You know, God provided before this, you know, little little tidbits of faith, you know, that I walked in. You know, God provided bread and milk one time, and he, he, he paid for car insurance and storage through, you know, different people. And so... This was little tests of faith that God had me to walk in. And so when um, the big test of faith came, which was for an apartment, God provided everything. Yeah, I, I had that pressure of walking in faith. I knew what it was like to face a deadline, you know. And a lot of people don't like to be in that pressure, you know, where, you know, they feel like the walls are closing in on them and, and the, the worst fears are coming into their mind about what's going to happen if such and such doesn't, or if God doesn't come through. But once God comes through, then you have a weight off your shoulders. And then you can see what God can do, you know. But it depends on us 
taking the time to read not only what it says in Scripture and how God it has provided, but look on YouTube. Look on how God has provided through different people. Let that build your faith up into relying on Him, you know? And if you want good examples of how God has come through, you know, check out my other videos. I, I listed how what He has done. And it's all for the purpose of us not to rely on man. You know, God knows our needs. So you don't need to go to man. You don't need to send out donation cards. You just ask people to say, hey, can you pray about this with me? You know? And you don't need to use it as a telethon. You know, we're supposed to be lights in this world. We're not supposed to use the same tactics as the world does. You know, the world uses telethons. We as Christians don't need to do that. We need to rise up and be better of it. You know? So this is my viewpoint. You know, this is what God has proved in my own life, and I just want to share it with you, you know? So if you have a need, ask the Lord and wait upon Him. Ask people to stand with you. You know, hey, I need prayer for this. You know, can you pray about this? And just look to God. Leave it to God. Pray to God. When you have uh, the deadline coming up, the enemy's going to speak fear into your mind. So tell him to leave. You know, you have to change the thinking. Whenever an enemy speaks, oh, God's not going to come through, then you need to come against it and say, God has come through. He's come through in the past through scripture. He's come through in these different people's lives. He'll come through for me. And it's, you know, scripture says, resist, the, submit to the Lord, resist the devil, and he will flee. And he will flee, you know? So you have to resist that. And you have to keep asking God, you know, for his provision. You know, have faith. You know, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You know, it was Hebrews 11.1. 1. So, you know, just trust God. You know, it's... It's a walk of faith. It's a, you know, it's a step-by-step -step kind of thing. So I pray that this video blesses you. And if you have that tendency of asking people for donations or, or gifts or anything, stop doing it. You know, just look to the Lord. You know, realize that He is your source. He is your provider. Why else is He called Jehovah Jireh? You know? So thanks for watching and God bless.